Keynote is part of Apple's iWorks app along with pages and numbers. It already comes pre-installed on all iPads and is very powerful with a lot of great uses across the class. Keynote is a perfect design canvas. There are lots in the shapes and the objects and the fonts, so this is how you can use it to make infographics and posters. There is a huge bank of shapes already built in um, to Keynote, as well as a range of really beautiful fonts. And this makes it a really great place to make posters for the classroom or have students make posters. So if you go to plus, and if you go to the shapes object, you can add in text box here, and that's where you can play about with the fonts. But you've also got all of these things which we discussed in a previous video. There's lots of different ways that you can make things here. So we've got education, science, lots and lots of really great objects that can be put together. And so for example here, just to quickly show you, we've got a magnet in there, magnet's black, and I want to change the color of that magnet so I can change it, but it changes the whole thing. So if I go to arrange, I can break apart that shape and then I each I can change the color of, of each part of, of the shape. So let's just go for something quite quick. Oops. We'll go for something quite quick here. And then we'll change this bit and that bit. And it really allow and then you can group them all back together so you can remove so you can resize them just by grouping and you've just change that shape now. Now, there are lots of ways that you can make artwork. Um, so here's some examples of what I've just done. This is for my son's room. It's just a rocket. Change some of the colors, overlaid, put some shapes in. We've moved the shapes around um, and it's created some nice artwork there. So all of these are separate shapes that I built up. Um, then we have the same here. Um, just adding in a plane, using a bit of shadow underneath, adding a bit of text, but that doesn't necessarily need to be there. All these ones here, if I ungroup them, you will be able to see that it's a range of triangles built up one on top of the other. Just change the size, change the shape, change the color, um, and the same with the circles here. And then this leads on into infographics, so you could you can really put in um, some facts to show learning. So here we were doing World War II. We've just used a font, we've used a world map which we've stretched out over the slide. Um, we've put in some flags and a chart there just to show some things there. And when you hit play, you'll be able to see if you printed that out or if, if you were to save that as an image, it would look really effective. Um, and some of these things here, like the calendar, the calendar is not in the keynote options, but there are some great vector sites where you can get up to 10 free vectors per day. So Flat Icon is a great one, Icon Finder and freeicons.io as well. Um, and you, I, I use this um, at the end of lessons for quick infographics. So for example, we did online safety and our uh, we looked at our digital footprint and how we used our time on devices and uh, one girl in my class came up with this pretty quick. So Keynote really lends itself to make great artwork, great for posters, great for infographics.